We're going to continue on with collections and generics. And of course, we got started with that subject in the last video. And now we're actually going to put together some code. Now, the first thing we want to do, of course, is import the array list. This is something that Java provides again. And we get that out of java.util. And it's just like any other object that we've created. We're going to specify array list as the type. And here is the generic, which I talked about in the last video. It goes between these angle brackets. And we're going to be doing a list of numbers. That's what this collection is going to be holding, a list of numbers. Now, we could write in string here and we could hold a bunch of strings, such as names or lists of countries, any type of list that we wanted to hold. But as I said, we're going to do integer. We're going to name this test collection, and that, of course, is our object. And of course, this is the usual thing we have to do. We have a constructor to build our array list. And as I said in the last video, we don't have to specify the size of the array. This is a dynamic array. So we can add and remove as we wish at runtime. So that's the big difference between a normal array and an array list collection. We don't have to put size here. We can add and remove as we wish. And so that's a big difference. And so let's add our first number. And so we're going to specify, of course, our object. And then, as usual, if we hit dot, we get all the methods that we can use in the array list. And you can see there's quite a few here. And we're going to use the add method. And then we're going to specify the number that we want in this list. In this case, it's going to be 12, followed by a semicolon. Now, the key difference here is you will remember in the normal array, we had to put a index. So we'd have to specify zero. You do not have to do that with an array list. It is automatically assigned to it. So this first add would have an index of zero automatically. And again, we don't have to specify it. And obviously, like I talked about in the last video, we're using methods here to add values to our array. In this case, we're going to be using a 12. And then we can just add as many different numbers as we want here. So let's add a 33. And let's add a few more numbers. Let's add 45. And we'll even add one more. Let's add a 69. Now we can go ahead and print this out. And we should get a nice list of numbers. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see we got our list of numbers printed out here. Now, as I said, we can use other methods in this array list at runtime. So let's say we wanted to remove one of these numbers. Uh, we want to remove the 33. So we just call our object again. And this time we're going to use the remove. And we're going to specify one, and I'll explain that in a second. Now, this is actually not the number that we put in here to remove up here. We actually specify the index. And in this case, we're saying remove index 1, which is 33. So if we wanted to remove 12, we would specify 0. If we wanted to remove 45, we would specify 3. And we need to actually put another system.outprint past this, because remember, this is at runtime, and we've changed the collection. So we'll actually get two system.outprints now. And we'll run this. And here you can see that 33 is in fact removed. And then uh, you know let's add a few more numbers here. So you can see how dynamic this is. We can just keep adding, removing. So we'll add uh, 175 here. Uh, let's add another number. Uh, we'll add 4002, big number. And then we'll do another system.outprint. And we will run this. And there you can see we've got our revised list here at the bottom. Now, as I said, there are several methods to this array list. And you can go through each one of them. There, You can actually do gets where you can get the uh, contents of the entire list. You can get the size of the entire list. And to do that, again, you just hit the dot here, of course. And that will provide you with all the methods that are in this array list. And like I said, there are many different methods. You can get the size. You can do notifies. There's all different types of methods in this array list. And I encourage you to go ahead and play around with those. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.